Happy New Year. For us Westerners, that's the 1st of January. That's a cultural thing. The Chinese this year, it's the 1st of February. For human design, which goes with the natural rhythms of the planets, it's the 22nd of January. When the sun enters gate 41. And gate 41 is the start codon. Every genetic sequence starts there. Life begins with that gate. So let's have a look at uh, what's actually happening in this time of the year. And here I'm going to focus on the northern hemisphere because human design and the I Ching are born there. My sense is the southern hemisphere has a, a very different way of looking at life, which I as a northerner don't really know. I would be very interested to find that out. The 21st or 22nd of December is midwinter, the solstice. And that is from that moment onward, the light starts to increase. It's where the light sort of renews itself in matter. It's quite a beautiful metaphor that also Christmas is close to that date. Then a mysterious process happens and it's kind of a birth process which I like to illustrate with the gates that the sun is going through in this period. Here you see the top part of the wheel. The wheel is all the gates that the sun moves through in the course of one year. And you see that all gates all also correspond to astrological signs. Gate 10, at the top of the chart, in the north, is midwinter, is the solstice. The direction is to the left, anti-clockwise. And you see we're in the sign of Capricorn. Then you see 58, 38, 54, the first three. And I could see that as the light is in the form, and that's, that's midwinter. It starts to grow, and there is great joy. Gate 58 is joyousness. There's also some opposition. The light is suddenly cold in the form, and what are the, the boundaries? There's opposition, gate 38. And then there's the striving to do it anyway, and that's gate 54. Then there is a, an asking for a higher force, that's gate 61, an inspiration. That finally gives this process of light being born, the necessary motivation, let's say, I came for this, this is the mission, to go into the birth process that's represented by gate 60. Gate 60 is limitation, the birth channel is a narrow thing, right? And then we come at the gate 41, actually the emanation, the start codon, life begins. After that we see gate 19, 19 is sacrifice, there is something to let go of, still. Until we arrive at gate 13, you see that's another yellow gate. This is the 1st or 2nd of February, and it's exactly the midpoint between winter and spring for the ancient Celts, they had eight festivals throughout the year, so the four seasons and then these four midpoints. And this one for them is called Imbolc. And the time between midwinter and Imbolc is the time for them to prepare, to go in. I sense that they, they were in tune with um, the processes in nature. The light is, has entered, it is still hidden, it's in a process of growing manifesting itself and then after the third um, February one or two this gate 13 spring starts to grow the sap starts to flow and it will really bring fruits and harvest later in the year for us as humans when we start to feel ourselves in tune we can use this time in its natural quality, which is a quality of turning inwards, of looking at our own seeds and those things that we would love to, to see to come to fruition in this year. Now I will move a little bit into the transits of this month, because it seems to me that 
the planets are supporting these processes. Of course, the Sun I just described. Venus retrograde is mostly in gates 54 and 38. And we just spoke about that joyousness and the opposition. And so the feminine energy is sort of looking at in inside itself, where's my joy and where are the limitations, the hindrances? Where do I fight against that joy? And it's a month that is strongly uh, imprinted by feminine energy. The Earth also goes through a number of strong transits. Venus starts to go direct again on the 29th of January. And so it supports also that, that new manifesting vigor, let's say. Pluto. Pluto is sort of the, the grand master of the whole processes in, in this time of big change. Because it goes so slow. And it's far away, but it seems to have a deep um, power into the collective. Pluto is hovering between gates 61 and 60. And this year it's finally establishing itself in gate 60 limitation. Which means in the outer world we might get more limitations. Yeah, you might say we have enough already. Pluto is or has already been there also. Um, but that's on the, car, on the charts. And it is a birth process. That's maybe good to remember. And what's being born is us. See you next month.